I had writer's block my entire life, all the way up until two years ago. And in this short video, I'm gonna share with you how I overcame this decades-long writer's block. So here's what happened. I started to share little quick video tips or tips from about business and marketing, authentic business, authentic marketing, on my dog walks. And I'm on the dog walk right now. I don't know where my dog buddy is. He's exploring, exploring the, the bushes around here. And when I get, got home and uploaded the videos, I thought to myself, you know, some of my audience members are going to want to read what I said instead of take time to watch the videos. So out of a sense of courtesy, I just quickly typed out, okay, this basically this is what I said in the video. Uh, if you don't feel like you have time to watch it, this is what I said. So out of that casual attitude of just, you know, basically this is what I said. This is not, it's not a blog post that I would feel intimidated by or I'm not trying to write a book. I'm just casually summarizing some of the things I said in the video and maybe adding on some other additional thoughts. And I started doing these videos. I made a commitment to myself to do them Monday through Friday. This was back in 2015 when I did it five days a week. And my audience would start expecting these things. And I started writing what I said in the videos because some of them don't want to watch it, they want to read it. So based on doing that, I overcame my writer's block. And I started noticing after a while that, wow, it's much less resistance now to writing. I got into this rhythm, got into this groove. And so let me share with you, I guess, the lessons from that. And before I do, there's my dog, Buddy, <laughs> minding his own business. So the lessons are this. Um, you, I believe, and everyone can overcome come writer's block by doing it in a consistent way, starting with being casual about it. I think a lot of writer's block is a sense of, you know, we grow up uh, going to school where writing was such a big deal because if you didn't do good writing, you would get a bad grade. And so we would feel anxious that we were performing essentially in our writing versus just trying to communicate something. I mean, for example, when you, when you write emails to your friends or text messages, you don't get writer's block, right? You're just trying to communicate something. You're maybe relating to them and um, connecting with them. That's it. That's all. We have to extricate ourselves from the performance mindset of writing and start thinking of it as a casual serving and connecting to others. That's all. Just sharing our ideas. I've also noticed that when a piece of writing that I do does well, it's oftentimes not the writing itself that was brilliant. Oh, my grammar was great or whatever. No, it was just the ideas inside were, were, were relevant to my audience. And it doesn't matter how my writing was, they, they appreciated the ideas and that's what made that piece of content go more viral than others. So don't worry about your writing. That's my, my biggest tip for you is to start doing it on a consistent basis from a casual attitude of just connecting and serving and you'll overcome your writer's block. And a, a couple other things, and I'll put more in the description of this video, is that how do, how do I motivate my, how did I motivate myself? There are eight motivational methods, which I'll link to in the description of this video. But I used two of the eight for overcoming my writer's block. I used public accountability and I used a regular calendar. Now, you don't have to use these two. You can use the other six if that makes more sense to you. But this is what I did. Public accountability, meaning my audience started to expect that I would be publishing a video every Monday through Friday. This was back in 2015. Now I only do it three times a week. But they expected that and then for, for each video, many of them wanted to just read it. So that was public accountability that really motivated me. And then the other thing was having a calendar to say, all right, basically 8.30 to 9 a.m. each morning is when I write my videos. I write and publish my videos because I already made the videos earlier. So like earlier on during the weekend. So I hope this helps. Um, again, I said I'll, I'll, I'll link to the other motivational methods inside the description of this video and just know that no matter how long you've had writer's block, you can overcome it as well if you're willing to, if you're willing to do it. You absolutely could. I thought I never could, but I actually did. And it surprised me. So that's why I, I hope this is helpful for you as well. I'm George Cow, and always open to your questions and comments. And until the next video, I wish you 
optimism and hope that you can overcome writer's block and have that means of communication as a regular way to connect and serve your audience. Be well.